Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. In this series we're going to be learning how to use the while the while do loop. So I've already created the GUI as so just um, a basic memo and a button. And my nose feels stuffed again so I might be talking a bit unclearly. I'm sorry. Anyway, a while loop is basically a loop that keeps repeating itself. Um, until the given condition is true. So basically a while loop is used when, you're, when, you're, when you are not sure um, how many times it should repeat. Let's create an I counter integer. Let's start by setting the I counter to bar to 1. It's the while loop looks like this so let's say when I counter is bigger than 20 then it will start running all the code in here so let's say memo one dot lines dot add uh, into str I counter while loop plus okay. so basically this will keep repeating until the i counter is above 20 but right now it will but right now it will never reach above 20 because it's just one and it stays one so if we compile now then it will basically create an an, an infinite loop uh why is this working oops Sorry. While loop, um, while I counter is smaller than 20, it must repeat this. So if it goes above 20, it must stop. As you can see, it's now basically caused an, an, an infinite loop. It just keeps repeating the same one, and the uh, I counter stays 1. We just go to run and program reset. So to fix this is we basically have will want to um, increase the i counter plus one every time it um, repeats this loop. So this will work, but there's a shorter way to write this. So instead of using all of this, we just simply say um, i n c i counter. So basically this. INC function is function is procedure is the same as this and it's also one for a minus would just be um, DEC like this but we want a plus sign now so if we compile now and press the display button we'll see it displays it 19 times so it, so it kept repeating this loop until it was um, basically 20. So um, we can also make it like when it equals, let's say 40 for instance. Ah oh, no, that will not work. Sorry. 40. So then we'll um, basically um, do this while the I counter is 40. Then it will only repeat this one time because it will automatically increase it the second time. You can also do this with um, a boolean, for instance. Let's set the boolean to false. B boolean. Current equals false so we can say while the b boolean equals false please keep repeat please keep um, repeating this so we will 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 we actually make the booleans become true let's say if if b boolean not in boolean if i counter reaches uh let's say 80 
then it should set the b boolean to true so this is the same as this or the same as this so basically we said we set um, the boolean to false and then while it is while it is false it will keep repeating um, this at every time it will check it will check if the account has, has reached 80 if it has it will increase you know basically set the boolean to true and when it wants to repeat again it will say it will see that it isn't it, it isn't um, false anymore and then stop so as you guys can see we've been stopped at 79 that's basically what a for loop, a while loop is, but I don't really use a while loop a lot. I mostly use for loops, but a while loop is also very useful to know. So yes, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video.